So Remy Gardner is going to come in to replace him. And I think this has opened up an interesting conversation where we're all looking at like where, who's going to end up where Pramac undecided or unsigned on riders. Cause I think Yamaha is going to have a big say in who ends up on the Pramac because it is two factory bikes that I think we're told they're going to get. And it's going to be a huge part of the development of the Yamaha moving forward. But I'm, I'm, Sure, they'll be talking with Pramac and they'll be, I think at the end of the day, it might be Yamaha's call who gets on that bike with it being two factory bikes. Just my instinct. I don't know if that's actually the case. I know a lot of teams run with like, we'll pick one, you pick one kind of deal. I think this will be a really in-depth conversation, Pramac and Yamaha to decide on something together. But I think final say, I think it's going to go to Yamaha. But anyway, the reason I'm saying this is, you know, Remy Gardner's entered the, entered the chat here. Now, I, don't, I still think it's hugely unlikely that he'd get the ride, but I think it's an interesting thing that they take an opportunity to put him on the bike because I think they probably want to have a look at him because it's easy to chuck like Cal on here. Get him on there. We know he's reliable. We know he's solid. He's the test rider. He's there to give us the feedback, whatever. We're developing a bike. Probably is smart to put Cal on the bike if you can. Although is he, is he, is he injured? Is that why he missed his last one? Is he still injured? I don't know. I think this is a good opportunity for him to have a look at Remy. And if you look at some of the other names that are in the hat, you know, you've got some Moto2 guys. You've got guys like Miguel Oliveira. You've got guys like Ralph Fernandez. I think they would probably be looking at because he's really turned his form around. And if you're looking at Oliveira as a former Grand Prix winner and an experienced guy, you have to be looking at Raul. And if you're looking at Raul, you have to be looking at Remy because I'm not convinced that, like, if Remy had stayed in MotoGP this whole time, I think he'd be doing as good as Ralph Fernandez is, if not better. I thought he was probably the better of the two when they were together, just off memory. Could be my Australian bias. And I still think there's a lot there with Remy. So I think they will be considering him. I think he's a dark horse to get this job. And I think this is why they're throwing him on. I think they really want to have a look at him. So interesting times ahead. <laughs>